I am Zach Seidlow. I'm the Atmos engineer at Sterling Sound in Edgewater, New Jersey. The immersive plugins are really have become such an integral part of my workflow and my template. Given how intuitive these are, I, I, I've seen a lot of plugins for immersive that are fairly complex and that I opened and then closed because it, it's just not happening. So the ease of use is huge. I know Black Hole, I use immersive Black Hole, I use pretty heavily on uh, the latest BTS single, uh, Take Two. Jungkook's album, uh, or single, Seven, has both of them featured pretty heavily. Demi Lovato's upcoming album, Revamped, has pretty good use of um, Micro Pitch Immersive, for sure. When I get stems in, a lot of times I'll have reverbs or effects printed in stereo, which is great because then I can totally recreate what that ambience was on the stereo record, right? But I'm not in stereo anymore, and that can start to sound really flat. And I can use, and often do, use Black Hole Immersive to extend that tail um, and pull it into the room while still maintaining the same characteristic, which you wouldn't necessarily think to do with Black Hole because it is this giant cavernous thing, but if you can tame it, it's extremely flexible and it's super intuitive to do. As far as micro pitch, um, that's been huge. I mean, everyone's been using micro pitch and stereo forever to make things wide, right? But now I can do it in all of these dimensions and still maintain all the impact and the weight and the punch that I want by keeping it on that front wall. Um, and I've done that a bunch, and I will continue to do so. My advice to anybody who's considering thinking about getting into Atmos, I mean, if you have logic, you can do it right now. If you have Pro Tools Ultimate, you can also do it right now. If you have Cubase, you can do it right now. You, it's accessible, you can get into it and just experiment. Like, just spend the hours, see what works, see what doesn't. It's, it's a fun world and it's a fun place to be, especially because it's fun space to be working in where there aren't rules. Everyone likes different things and it's all still being developed. We're still in this like wild west of this works or this doesn't, right? And I think it's, it's such a fun format that like it kind of helps you rediscover like the joy and the fun of audio and engineering and why we all got into this in the first place, right? Like it's totally just this big giant playground that now you get to mess with. It also helps that, you know, people want it, labels want it, artists want it, listeners want it. And yeah, so do it, take the chance, have fun with it.